Hello, this is Franco Cabral broadcasting from the Honest Liar podcast, a conversation around finding the inner liar within all of us and leveraging the truth to create expansion across all areas of your life. Today's topic is setting the tone. Lesson number one, last night I was playing the guitar. Um, Why well, wouldn't saying playing the guitar, I use that loosely. It was my first lesson uh, that I chose to do last night, uh, playing the guitar. And I, on the recommendation of a friend, I went to YouTube and I searched guitar lessons. And there was a guy named Marty Music uh, who had a tremendous amount of reviews and millions of uh, views on his basic guitar learning classes. And the first lesson was all about first just starting with learning how to tune the guitar and learning two chords. I downloaded an app. I've never tuned a guitar uh, or an instrument uh, ever in my life, actually. I used to play the viola when I was uh, in middle school, uh, but I don't even think then I knew how to uh, tune the guitar. Uh, my teacher tuned it every time I was doing lessons at that time. Now... If you listen to my podcast uh, probably about two episodes ago, I talked about setting targets for the year and the man that I am hunting down, the man that I'm going to become uh, that came to me in a vision, in a meditation, and I had now have defined the, that man as the harmony man. And the vision came from uh, being around a fire with my family, bringing in 2020 uh, playing the guitar and singing with my family. And this was prior to me having a guitar. I've never played the guitar. And I shared this story with my wife, and she went out and bought me a guitar for Christmas. And it was, it was a perfect present because it was the catalyst that I needed uh, to actually commit to this vision. So here I am now starting the process of learning how to play the guitar. And one of the things that I must say about the process by which, you know, or the, the way that I choose to live that I talked about often, uh, this daily game, is that when I've been consistent as long as I have with myself, with little things, even something as simple as I drink a daily green drink, or I meditate, or I work out daily, or I send a message of love, appreciation, and honor to my wife, as I've mentioned in the past, it means that I am capable of doing what I say I'm going to do. And I'm starting really now, uh, over the last six to nine months, to understand the power of keeping commitments to myself. Because I said I'm going to go after a lot of targets this year. Uh, they're all centered around the idea of becoming the harmony man, uh, which is not just the guitar, but playing uh, the guitar means that I'm creating space for myself. And I'm learning how to be with myself uh, and the man that I desire to become this year is going to create a lot of great shit in his business, connection with his family. I'm going to have an elite body. I will be an athlete that's able to compete uh, every single quarter this year, but also will create space to create harmony within my life. Uh, and that is going to be symbolized by music. So the lesson that I was learning last night as I was uh, just learning how to tune the guitar, which was the first step, uh, thank you to technology. There was an awesome app uh, that actually listens to the string as I play it and tells me whether I'm on or off track from where I should be. Uh, and I went through each string and it was actually fairly easy to tune the guitar. But Marty Music kept saying to me uh, that before you do anything, before I teach you any chords, before I teach you how to strum, you have to tune the guitar. And every single time you go to play, you have to tune the guitar. And as, as I've done often because of these podcasts and also just the idea of reflection daily that I do and journaling and the spark, I'm always looking for the lesson that I can find in life. And the lesson that I was getting from this process of tuning the guitar was that it's a reset. Every time I decide that I'm going to go play the guitar, which I'm actually going to do after this, I, I'm committing to doing f at least five days a week of a 15 to 20 minute practice session uh, with Marty Music for now. And I have some friends that have volunteered to also teach me. But I'm going to start by tuning my guitar. 
And the lesson that I'm realizing from this is that this is very similar to one of the most powerful tactics that I have created and you know, I've shared, um, not in depth, but I'm going to actually create a podcast just teaching the concepts of what I do weekly. But it's something called my legend plant and it my legend plan. And it's something that I do on Sunday mornings, usually sometimes Saturday, depending on my weekend. And it's a reset for the week and a review of my previous week, as well as a master plan for the upcoming week. I check to see uh, in each of my targets that I set where I'm on track, where I'm off track, what do I need to do to course correct or accelerate and, you know, how the week went, you know, what are my, what are my fired ups? You know, what are my fucked ups? Uh, what are my wins for the week? And it's a process takes me about an hour and a half. But when I was listening to the lessons on tuning the guitar, I realized that my legend plan is very similar to tuning the guitar. I choose not to go into any week unprepared with my legend plan, not to say that I'm perfect, but 95% of the time, it's become an essential part of my game because there's really no point in going after the next week if I haven't reset and refocused on what's actually important to me. So we're on day 11 when I'm recording this uh, of 2020, and many people set targets for the year, uh, set you know intentions for who they want to become. Uh, if you haven't created a theme around who that person is and what that person looks like, I highly suggest that because it's a powerful um, indicator of whether my targets are serving who I want to become or not. And that's been a new part of my game that's been very powerful. Um, and But every week you have to, you know, and every day I would suggest is look at the targets that you set and reset yourself are you on track or off track? And then do something to either accelerate the process if you're on track or if you're off track, get yourself refocused because over time, we don't realize it, but similar to playing the guitar. If I was playing a guitar that was completely out of tune and I didn't take the time to reset the guitar, I, I would never have a shot of playing a song even if I was learning the chords properly, if I was strumming properly, if I knew the technique properly, I'm basically screwed from the beginning because I just didn't reset myself. And this is the concept of this legend plan uh, where I take a, an account of what last week was and then I set my intentions for the next week with a very clear picture and indication of how I want to live my life and create my legend in this next week. Uh, that entails a daily plan uh, for life, not just business, which is what I used to do, just business, but now it's a complete picture of harmony in line with this vision that I'm creating. I create space in the beginning of the week for my dates, my date with my wife, my date with my kid, uh, kids, my date with myself. I create space for my workouts, uh, for the targets that I'm going after, like Buddhist uh, classes is one of the things that I'm doing, 13 sessions this quarter. I've already set uh, dates for the date trips uh, and the vacations that I plan on doing with my family, uh, an event that I'm doing for competing and fitness. All of these things take effort to plan and a daily and weekly execution but the execution without actually being aligned with something that matters to you in your heart is pointless. So my, my application of this this week um, that I'm asking you is when you're listening to this, if you haven't done this for this upcoming week, is take inventory. You said you wanted to do some things, you know, 99 or a ridiculous percentage of the population uh, sets New Year's resolutions and new targets for the year, new year, new me, all the shit you hear. Um, have you forgotten about those targets already? Uh, because that's what most people are, where most people are at. And if you have, that's okay. But this is an opportunity to reset yourself, tune your guitar, decide, are you on track with who you said you wanted to become only 11, 12, 13 days ago? And now is the opportunity to actually reset and refocus so that you can go out there and make it happen. So this is the simple lesson I'm getting for today. And based on the fact that the Harmony Man and guitar is definitely a big uh, target for me, both in my life and what it represents as well as literally, uh, my target by the end of the year is that I will be playing by the fire with my family. But actually, I elevated that to 
I'm going to play at an open mic night, uh, which scares the shit out of me because I don't even know. How, oh, now I know two chords, so I'm on the process. Uh, but it's a process that I'm going to break down daily, break down weekly, and then I'm going to reset as often as possible, just like every day when I'm tuning my guitar uh, for the lesson that I have that particular day. So that's the lesson. Take some time. Shouldn't take you more than 30, 45 minutes. Uh, to refocus yourself and create a plan this week so that you have a chance of winning and playing the song that you want to play. So thank you for tuning in to the Honest Liar podcast, a uh, conversation around finding the inner liar within all of us and leveraging the truth to create expansion across all areas of your life. As always, if you found value in this podcast, please share this with somebody else you think will find value. Also, if you haven't rated or reviewed the show, please take the time to do so as it helps with spreading light, which is my mission. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.